What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a quick explanation on how to play this game. So as you can see, it's very panicking. What you do at first is you pick up uh, whatever you can, right? Go around the house, just find whatever you can and you deposit it into the nuclear bunker here. I know I'm trying to explain everything in rapid pace, but because we're in a rush right now as you can see. So we have to be quick. That's what it is, right? Find whatever you can. Duct tape, mask, spray, backpack. Anything I mean literally anything find stuff more stuff o doors can be open open them get stuff right See I, I found a room over here, so I'm gonna collect some med kits. I know our team's gonna need it later med kit seems like What we need the most right so I'm gonna try to get some med kit. Hopefully they get some backpack or whatever That's what I'm more worried about I'm gonna try to get this last med kit here Easy. Yep, you just get as much stuff as you can. Right? Once you do, you walk. Make sure you step inside a bunker before the timer ends. Timer ends and you're not in the bunker, you're dead. Right? Game over for you. So you have to restart. So you have to be quick. Okay, once that's done, everybody teleports in. Oh, it's gonna get crazy in here. From here, it's up to you if you want voting or not. I recommend not voting because it is annoying when you're trying to do things you want to do and all of a sudden you have to apply voting. So, pretty simple. Med kit's over here. Food's over there. Thirst is over there. Okay. Whatever you need is on here. You can also check other players' uh, stats as well. Right. Here's your health, here's your food, and here's your thirst. And that's sanity. Also, sleep. You will sometimes need to sleep to gain your sanity back there's also expedition you can take right this expedition you can go which is located up there it has a cooldown of like 300 seconds i believe right duct tape blueprint you can use this table to upgrade your um weapon make it stronger basically all right and then the map of town is very important because basically whenever you go on expedition for example right you would need a map now it says grocery store right because we have the map that's why grocery store it, it hints out it says that, uh, you have access to gro you're going to grocery store but if you didn't have the map it would say random place instead so right you wouldn't even know where you're going so mask and backpack is very important when it comes to expedition that is a lot of stuff here holy cow there's also a bar of soap down there i think i just grab it on the side yeah Okay, watch out you don't want to take too much damage do your best to not to avoid the roof as you can see there's acid rain uh let's see water in here once you're full though you're good to go just leave right there's no point for you to stay here no more take as less damage as possible when you're out in these uh expedition That was a good loot uh, run. So once you're done, right, you can click E over here, leave, right. You can come back home whenever. And there's also special events where you have to do, right. Make sure to read the context. But for this mini game, you click green points. Pretty simple. Find green, you click green. You miss the green, the ceiling is gonna take damage. Now the health is literally at the bottom right here. Once that's done, woohoo done there's a computer over here that you can check um this is this doesn't do anything but i recommend reading the mails usually they have good stuff on there that you can trade if you have if you find that you're hoarding a lot of things that you can trade for sure yao cheese whatever that was as you can see there's a cooldown on there and i believe that's 300 seconds uh, there will be random events happening. There's toilet being broken down. There's you have to check the vents. You gotta be sure to check vents. There's spiders. There's cockroaches. You need soap to clean the bunker as well, because there's usually mushrooms or like stuff growing. Very terrifying. And there's so basically, uh, whatever is on the left side. Whenever you see like an exclamation point. 
make sure to do those. This includes trash, eerie feelings, um, eerie feelings. The best way I could explain eerie feelings is either notes on the somewhere, right? So you see those exclamation point on the left side of my screen, right? Those are basically random events you have to do. There's also other random events, but these are just like bunker side, right? Now back to what I was talking about eerie feelings. With eerie feelings, what you do is you find cameras or notes. Uh, speak of the random event. They're telling us to praise the new king for three days or he will come to our head. I'll say nope. Well, it's up to your choice whether you want to or not. Good. I'm just clicking no. Oh yeah, each pool costs electricity. Speaking of electricity, there's a generator here. You need to either charge it or use battery. I recommend charging it, honestly. You, use it, you only use battery in emergency only. Okay. Use it in emergency only. The batteries are for emergency. Otherwise, you just use charge normally. Toolbox is very important. That is a toolbox right there. What you do is you fix these. Zombies tend to break through these barricades from whichever side. Okay, you make sure once that's done, you use a toolbox to fix it. Okay. And I think that pretty much covers it for this um, guy. If you have any guys, if you guys have uh, any questions, please put it in the comments. Because I'm still learning the game. I just started playing yesterday. So no worries. We're all just learning together. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.